Hello everyone from Pramash Technologies. We are glad to announce the release of version 1.3 of RM SCADA module for ignition, which allows you to monitor any of the ignition parameters on remote dashboard uh, on any HTML5 device, including the mobile phones, using the PubNub cloud services. So PubNub, as you know, is an amazing tool um, that allows you to integrate any two applications over the internet and it supports almost 70 plus SDKs uh, in 70 plus different languages. And using PubNub, you can develop chat engines, you can de develop IoT control, uh, real-time updates. And we'll be using the EON project, which allows you to monitor the dashboard from ignition uh, over the internet. So in the resources section, they have given a lot of tutorials. There are hundreds of applications you can build using PubNub and imagination is the only limit. Now only thing is that the PubNub didn't support Jython directly. So we have developed the Jython uh, libraries required to run the, uh, the dashboards. So that's our value addition. Uh, so now uh, we'll, we'll just get started uh, with a demo. So this is uh, uh, the ignition project where some tags have been defined and we'll try to monitor some of these parameters uh, uh, using the uh, PubNub uh, uh, EON dashboards. So there are two control flags defined in this database. So we have to start uh, the PubNub. So the script uh, which drives the PubNub um, gets activated. Then we have to start a timer, which will periodically, every five seconds, it will send the parameters to dashboards. And now the, ignition, the PubNub services have started and it's publishing onto the Eon channels uh, every five seconds too. So to visualize the panels, we have to open this in a browser. So this is one of the dashboards that we have configured. Uh, it will take some time for the buffer to fill up and uh, then it will start trending, yeah. Now we have configured some trends and uh, some bar charts and pie charts uh, using the PubNub Eon, Eon library. Uh, so another, this is one of, one of the dashboards. So you can monitor any of the parameters from ignition uh, which are configured in the database. For example, these are some of the parameters. So if I change some value to something else, it should reflect in the dashboards. Yeah, so this immediately shows. And the, these values are coming from the internet. These, these are not local. So another uh, dashboard it supports, we have a uh, uh, design is this, uh, uh, to be able to see the values of the database in a table. So this displays the uh, tags that are configured for this project uh, in a tabular format. And then I can def uh, go to the next page and it shows uh, the state. Uh, this color means that it is in state two and it means that the value has exceeded 80. And this, this tag is also in alarm when this, this tag is true and things like that. Um, so the values don't refresh automatically uh, to avoid to minimize the bandwidth. So if I press refresh, uh, 
it fetches the values from ignition using the PubNub cloud services. But it is also possible to set automatic uh, updates by keeping this flag uh, on. Now you will see that this update every five seconds automatically without doing anything. And also it is possible to display only the uh, values in alarm. Supposing you have defined about 100, 100 tags uh, and you want to see only the ones which are violating the limits or which are in alarm conditions. Now these alarm states are not defined, uh, are defined locally for this RMS project. Uh, they are not what is defined in uh, uh, ignition. Uh, the, the limits have been redefined here, but they can be same as what is defined in ignition. So there's one more option. If I click this, so it will display only the, uh, the tags that are in alarm state. And the number of parameters that you want to display per page, that's also configurable. Supposing you have about 1000 tags, so you can set the limit to 100 per page. So you get uh, about 10 pages to cover the 1000 tags. So <clears throat> these are the things that are, that, are, that are possible using the RMS. And another thing is that it can be, uh, be monitored on even on uh, um, mobile phones. So I, I cannot show you the mobile phone, but I have got some screenshots of Android and uh, uh, the iOS phone. So this is the iOS uh, phone. Uh, basically, we have to copy the files from uh, from this RMS folder. Some of these uh, HTML files and the JS files. They have to be copied on onto the uh, Android phone and the uh, iOS phone. And using the file manager, you have to open. Uh, if you click on this HTML document, it will display uh, the trend. The same dashboard, it appears and it updates in real time. And you can see the uh, similar type of uh, alarm screen onto the Android phone and with the next previous buttons and everything. So basically you can monitor any of the parameters that are configured in RMS onto a uh, mobile device. Uh, with a it's very lightweight so i think uh, that's all about uh, the, 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 this uh, new version and the beauty of the new version is that this directly integrates with the uh, ignition server there is no uh, intermediate server like tomcat or uh, node.js required unlike the previous version now because we have developed the pubnub api is directly in jython it is PubNub doesn't support Jython libraries. We have checked with them. So we have developed this uh, relevant. It's not 100% compatible with all the features of the, their uh, SDK. But whatever relevant features of uh, the SDK have been implemented in Jython by us. So uh, we will we're going to make this available on the GitHub. And uh, uh, yeah, these are the step-by-step -step instructions also given how to uh, use the sample project. You have to download basically the sample project and you have to get the PubSub uh, pub keys from uh, PubNub. You have to create an account for yourself and subscribe to uh, PubSub keys and those keys you have to enter in appropriate places. That is given in the instructions and then you are ready to go. And uh, PubNub allows you to uh, use those keys uh, for trial period. And their billing cycle starts uh, only after you commercially start using it. And uh, it's pay per use, uh, number of, it's based on number of uh, transactions or number of messages that you send. And the limit is quite high, some few million uh, messages will cost a couple of dollars or ten dollars so that's quite cheap you can have a look at their pricing policies so yeah I think uh, that's all about the, the features um,
So we'll request you to download uh, this RMS demo from our, the GitHub. And it's a fully functional application and it uh, so that you can use it for uh, your trials and evaluation and you have to buy it only when you want to you feel a value in it and you are able to commercially uh, use this tool so so thank you for watching and until the next module comes up uh, see you soon